Family, 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 listen up. This is a big tip. I've talked about this in the past, but I want to remind you of this, okay? I had some clients this week. Many of them all said the same thing. Um, I helped them with their online dating bios. I created for them based on their personality and their strengths, okay? Help them with their photo arrangement. I edit their photos. I get them ready, and they're getting matches. And uh, I even help them through the messaging process. That is if you're an extended client. Well, anyway, um, I'm not there all the time. And so some of these clients are like, yo, I'm matching with these girls, man. But, you know, uh, once the date comes around, they're like flaking. And I said, uh, I bet you I know why. I said, remember, I t how long do you set the date for? How far out? They're like, well, you know, sometimes like five, five days, sometimes longer. I've maybe I've been a client tell me like, like 15 days. I said, bro, she ain't gonna remember you. We live in a world, guys, where people want instant gratification. Okay. Dopamine hit after dopamine hit. All right. Check this out. You can go on Amazon right now, as all of you know, and you can get a delivery by the same day, depending on what you order. You get it the same day. Do you think, and not to mention, we live in a world full of zombies. Okay. Everybody's on the phone, eating food on the phone, out with friends, family on the phone shit on a date on the phone take your pictures of the food people don't can't get rid of this thing this thing gives you information instantaneously do you think with the way people are distracted today and the short attention span that most people have that she's gonna remember that she had a date with you 10 10 days down, down the way absolutely not here's another reason why unless you make a great first impression you'd have to be extremely good looking to her Okay, to her, she'd have to be really into your look and your personality and the way you made her feel would have to be so exceptional that, you know, she may wait. Heck, my, my ex-wife, when I met my ex-wife, I didn't call her for like 14, 15 days. And when I finally did, um, she said, hey, I've been, I didn't think you'd ever call me. I'm glad you did, but I didn't think you'd ever call me. And, you know, the rest was history. I set up the date right then and there. I was like 27 years old, smashed on the first night, of course. But anyway, uh, shout out to her. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is the world is fast. And so you you too need to be fast. To some degree, you too have to adapt to how fast the world is. Here's what happens when you book a date 10 days out, the following week, okay? Seniority goes to the friends. You know the friend, especially in the summertime, the friend's going to say, hey, there's a rooftop party, there's a barbecue, uh, there's a house party, uh, let's go to the bar, let's go to the nightclub. Do you think she's going to go, hey, I actually matched with a guy like last week and he set a date, I think, for like Tuesday, so I don't think I can make it. Hell no, she's not going to say that, bro. She's going to say fuck that dude and, and she's gonna go to whoever's more regular in her life that even goes to maybe like a guy that she's talking to if he's a little bit more fluid in her life um seniority goes to him most likely again unless you made that champion game uh first impression which most guys are not making let's be honest because most guys don't know themselves they don't know how to manage their time this is also why you i think you extend the date i think it's fear mostly because guys that know what they're doing, they're like, yo, check this out. This vibe is cool. Let's meet out right now. Let's meet for one real quick. That's what guys with game will do. Because we manage our time. We're like, yo, an hour to go have this chick come meet me? An hour, an hour or two? And even if we do make it an all-nighter, we could still manage it. You know how many times I went, I was up all night having fun? Went straight to work the next day and worked 12 hours? Shit, I just put big red in my mouth, some cologne, pound the coffee, and made it happen. Is it healthy? No, after a while, it's not healthy. But for a time, it can't. it's fine. You can handle it. Your body can, it can, it can uh, persevere. And so I just, I, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing, and I don't believe that men say they're this busy. I know you're not busy. I bet you're on that phone a good portion of your day. So for those minutes that you spend on the phone, Browsing the internet, watching YouTube videos, uh, stalking girls' pages, maybe not all of you, but many. You could get other things done and then make that time to meet a girl in real life. So here's what I'm telling you. Set the date with online dating within that day or the next day. Maximum 36 hours. Maximum maximum you can make it happen. You're not that busy. It's a cope. You're lying. If you don't have any kids, if you don't have any kids, all right, and you're only responsible for yourself, 
there's no way I'm ever going to believe. Shoot, I used to do, I used to meet two girls in a day after working and bang them both. YouTube chill. So you can make it happen. That's your big problem in today's world. The world is fast. People want instant gratification. If that feeling that the woman has, you gave her a good feeling, good, congratulations. You gave her a good feeling. Now, now, you know, uh, maximize that opportunity. Make it happen sooner because if you let it go, just like feelings, feelings always change. Emotions change. So she could be feeling something today, but in four days, she's not feeling it no more. She's a different feeling, different emotion, different need that, that, that she wants met. And you're just not there. And she ain't going to remember you. And remember, seniority goes to friends and people that are more regular in her life. So try, trust me, your closing rate is going to go. It's going to it's going to increase uh, significantly if you do this. Make a good first impression. Get the match. A, little, a few exchanges. Hey, listen, this is a dope vibe. Weather's beautiful. Let's get out. Meet me for a drink. And make it happen. Guys, I'm Coach Yo. It's my honor and privilege to give you this game. I've talked about this before, but I had to reiterate it and reintroduce it because many of my clients that I'm talking to now, I had to bust them out. Bro, you're not that busy. Don't act like you're that busy. You ain't busy. You over here watching porn and, and scrolling the internet. You know you're not busy. Make that shit happen in real life and make it happen quickly. Why not? Why not? Because the chances are, like I said, 10 days goes by. Pfft. Seniority goes to the friends, pal. That's why they're flaking. Her friend said, hey, let's go to a rooftop party. Let's go here. And she's like, I think I had a date. I don't know. I'm Fuck it. Flake. Your chances, the chances of that happening are cut drastically if you can make it happen that day or the following day. Why not? Uh, if you're new here, guys, browse the catalog. I got a tremendous amount of content. Um, life game in general, not just women. And I got a lot of those other videos, life videos to come to help you guys with your mental and your emotional, okay? Your finances. Um, I want to build the complete man with the, the champion way. That's what I do here. So subscribe if you're new. Leave your comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.